Welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. This lesson is on series and parallel circuits. Today we're going to do a careful analysis of series and parallel circuits. On the screen you can see two circuits. Each one has two bulbs with voltmeters attached to measure the voltage drop across each bulb. Each circuit has a single switch to control the current, a 3 volt battery, and an ammeter that measures the amount of current for the entire circuit. But if you look closely you will see there is a difference between the two circuits. The series circuit on the left has two bulbs connected in a single loop, while the parallel circuit has separate loops for each bulb. So now let's close the switches and see what happens. Ok, we can see the two bulbs in each circuit glow with equal brightness in their own circuit. But when you compare the two circuits, it's obvious that the bulbs connected in parallel are glowing much brighter. Why the difference? To understand this, let's take a closer look at the series circuit. In a series circuit, all the items in a circuit share the electric energy from the battery. Therefore, it's no surprise that the voltage drop across each bulb is 1.5 volts, exactly half of the voltage supplied by the battery. Another important note is that each bulb acts as a resistor in the circuit, so putting the bulbs together in a single loop means their resistance is added together to increase the total resistance of the circuit. Every time you add more bulbs, resistance increases, lowering the amount of current flowing in the whole circuit. If we look carefully, we can see that the power used by each bulb is 262 milliwatts. Power can be calculated with the formula P is equal to IV, that is power is equal to current times voltage. So let's confirm that 262 milliwatt reading by performing that calculation. And sure enough, multiplying the current of 0.175 amps by the voltage of 1.5 volts, P is equal to IV confirms the power of a bulb in this circuit is 0.262 watts or 262 milliwatts. Now let's take a closer look at the parallel circuit. Besides the brighter bulbs, one of the first things we notice is the voltage drop across each bulb is 3 volts, the same as the battery. This makes sense when you consider that each bulb has its own separate loop in the circuit that leads directly to the battery. With the bulbs in separate loops, the individual total resistance of the bulbs is not added together. Comparing uh, adding resistors in series, adding them in parallel provides much lower resistance because the additional loops in a parallel circuit provide alternate pathways for current to travel. This is confirmed by the ammeter reading for the circuit. It shows that 524 milliamps flowing, that's three times the amount of current as the series circuit. Looking carefully again at a single bulb, we can see the power used by each is 785 milliwatts. We can confirm that value with the formula P is equal to IV. We know that due to there being two loops with identical bulbs in this circuit, exactly half of the total current will flow through each bulb. So multiplying the current of 0.262 amps by the 3 volt drop across each bulb, we confirm that the power used by a bulb in this circuit is indeed very close to 785 milliwatts. So in final comparison, one can see with greater current and higher voltage, bulbs connected in parallel will glow brighter than if connected in series.